Okay, quick uh, video to get some help with a little problem. The only problem, really. We have a uh, little wood gas truck here. Still has not run consistently for me. I get it to drive down the road a little bit, but uh, right now I've got a bilge blower fan running on the whole system. Bilge blower is there. It's running through a filter here, going through the elbow, through the restrictor, and into the intake. And it's actually blowing up through that valve there, which is open right now. Coming out there. So I'm getting this behavior really consistently. I can shut the valve, shut off the fan, and start it up. And it'll start and then die. And I can do it over and over again. It's good gas. But you can see what we got here. I'll shut the valve. And it dies. And the blower some more. We can actually start it with the blower on. It's almost always exactly the same. It starts up and then it dies. And that's with the blower running, valve shut. See that valve is shut now. I'm going to uh, stop it real quick and then I'll show you with the leak bottle, but there's really not that many leaks here. Okay, we're going to back feed the system now with pressured air from a shop vac. It's really best not to do this while the gasifier is still lit, but, you know, it's blowing backwards anyway. So, you'll see some extra smoke come out when I start this up. Okay, got the air mixture valve all the way open, so it's blowing out of here pretty good. But uh, the main thing I want to do, see that? That's uh, just some soapy water mixture. Okay, so like, I know it's leaking there, but that's just a temporary connection. So that's what will happen. And so I hit it. Okay, there's a couple of bubbles on top here. Gas part is puff. There's really none at all coming from this connection. Down here, I know of one little spot on the side that will make some bubbles. So I hit it just right. There, see it? Some bubbles there. And maybe that's the source of my problem, although it, I mean, I have been continually improving this and it's not gotten the truck to where it'll start. Okay, so that goes on down under the truck. We can look under here and see. There's a few more connections. And I've been over these a bunch and bunch of times. There's really no leaks at all. Most of these joints are glued. So, and the same goes for the rest of the truck, mostly. I'll take the opportunity to show you my uh, check valve. See, it's <clears throat> I've got it forced open right now. As soon as I take this out, though, whoo, that's hot. It is uh, considerably slowed. Okay, and yes, we are getting a lot of smoke out of there. I can shut that off now. We won't get nearly so much smoke. But uh, that's the check valve I built. Goes in, not out. You can imagine how much smoke would come out if it was. I have tried adding just a tad bit of gasoline, and it does help it start for a few seconds, but then it just dies again. So that's really not a very permanent solution unless I want to run hybrid, which I really don't. It seems like at this point it ought to be able to start, but for some reason it won't. So any suggestions or ideas, I'd be glad to hear it. Thanks.